Now to the issue of global warming. Meantime, what Al Gore a few days ago called Planet Earth's fever, it continues to get the public's attention these days. And today, a new study says it's possible some kinds of climates may entirely disappear from planet Earth. It's a dire prediction. We hear more tonight from NBC's Ann Thompson, who's with us this evening from one of the places that could be in danger, according to this. Ann, good evening. Good evening, Brian. Florida's Everglades, this river of grass, is crucial to the state's ecology and economy. And the study says could be in the bullseye of global warming. Dawn in the Everglades. Breakfast for the great blue heron. A swim for the alligator. Two of the more than 400 kinds of birds and animals that make their homes in this freshwater marsh. Homes that could be threatened by projected climate change caused by greenhouse gases. University of Wisconsin's Jack Williams, co-author of the study, says temperature increases of 3 to 7 degrees could make some climates disappear. Each species has a certain range of climates that it can grow and thrive and reproduce. And if those climates disappear, the species that live in those climates are at risk of extinction. The at-risk areas include the Andes Mountains of Colombia and Peru, where glaciers are melting. Central America's coral reefs already bleaching in the warming waters. The southern tip of South Africa, home to as many as 9,000 plant species. And in the U.S., rising sea levels fueled by warmer temperatures could bring more intense flooding with devastating consequences for the Everglades. This is the classic freshwater Everglades. Dan well, Kimball is superintendent of Everglades National Park. Projection. The projected 8 to 19 inches increase in sea level along Florida's southern coast could force more salt water in here and force some animals out. So the alligators would go? They would be replaced by crocodiles. The birds Mark Frank and his son Chris came all the way from Boulder, Colorado to snap could be gone too. One of my concerns is a lot of the bird species might just kind of vanish off the map. An increase of as much as 7 degrees here would not just impact the animals and the tourists, but the 5 million South Florida residents that rely on the Everglades for their fresh water. If we have a, a large inundation of salt water here, we could adversely affect those wells, and that would impact uh, our municipal water supply here for South Florida. The study says it is not too late to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and change the projected course to preserve areas like the Everglades for generations to come. Brian? Ann Thompson, the Florida Everglades for us tonight. Ann, thanks.